Uh, it's been an awesome second half of this ski season and I've been having a blast traveling in my self-converted sprinter van. As March comes to a close, I've been trying to squeeze the most I can out of each weekend. After several requests, I've made my way up to Grand Targhee Resort in Alta, Wyoming, where I had a humbling moment that reminded me just how powerful the mountains are. the fattest snowflakes I have ever seen in my life. No joke. I remember waking up, I'm at a Walmart by the way in Pocatello, Idaho, and I remember it pouring rain last night, and now it's like, look at these snowflakes. These are, these are huge. These are like borderline dangerous snowflakes. another car off the road or what? I think it is. How did he do that? We are on the final stretch up to Grand Targhee. We are about four miles out and it is just absolutely dumping snow. The roads are just a mess. Luna has been handling it like a champ but it is going to be a sick few days of skiing, that's for sure. I mean, just look at how much snow there is. It's nuts. It is just dumping snow. Four more miles. We're at a total standstill now, guys. Cars have been getting stuck left and right. Oh, there's a shuttle bus that's stuck. Look at this. Three cars stuck, a shuttle bus. Oh, this is going to be a tight squeeze here. Oh my God. This is insane. Look at these guys are pushing this car. Most of the grip is on the is on the actual snow because it seems like where it's cleared out and driven on is it's actually just like a sheet of ice. So I'm just trying to stay like more on the fresh snow, but this is gnarly. We're about one and a half miles out. Another road update, guys. We are at a complete standstill. Basically what's going on is the road is just a complete ice, ice sheet because it's been so warm and it's been raining and now it got so cold that it literally froze and it's just a sheet of ice. We're like a mile from the top and once we get up there, we are parking and just staying overnight until, until we leave, but this is gnarly. <laughs> guys, look, that that truck literally just went off into the ditch right behind me. We've made it out here to Grand Targhee, guys. What a wild, definitely by far the most wild drive up to a mountain this season yet. I wasn't expecting this whole excursion to take so long. So I had to clean up the bed, kind of make some coffee. Um, and I'm not even gonna make a full breakfast. I'm just gonna try to get up there and start skiing because it looks to be really, really epic. <music> going but snow looks good just really flat light so let's just take a cruiser get warmed up and enjoy Grand Targhee
my god Where'd you ski right now, man? I'm not yeah. never been here. If you look at Fresno, yeah. Take the ridge out, like just keep going out that cat track, past it. Past like Powder Blanche and all that stuff, or? That's kind of. Okay. What about the whole other good. side? Oh yeah, Sack. Yeah. There's always good snow over there. Okay. Uh, patrol shoots off the of Dreamcatcher. Okay. If Dreamcatcher is wide out at the top, it probably is going to be getting skied way slower. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, man. Yeah. As I'm exploring, I think they're double black side of the terrain, but there is a humongous cliff band. I just don't know where this cliff band is because it's huge and I don't like that there's no tracks over here. So we're trying to sensibly work our way around this area. right into the fucking rock. My ski is way the up there. Oh. I think I'm all right. Oh. The question is how do I get my ski? Oh, my hip. Oh, that sucks. Guys, my ski is way up on that cliff face. My toe piece just clipped out. Oh, that was scary. That was really scary. I think I got out of it as best I could, but I smashed my hip on that rock. Oh, all right, no one out here to save us but us. Oh. Totally fine, yeah. Yeah, right here? Yeah. Okay, do my best to catch it. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. I feel so bad. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. What happened? My toe piece clicked out right as I made the first turn. Oh. Oh, yeah. So I just sit along for the ride, like. Do I owe you guys or something? That was amazing. <laughs> yeah. I'm serious. You're from Ithaca? Yep. I'm from Syracuse. Oh, no way. It's a long time ago, but. Nice. Do I need to do anything? No, I think, no. Okay, that's, that's just what you guys do. Yeah. All right. That's all. That's no, not... You weren't hurt. Yeah, you're welcome. What's your name? I'm Lucas. Lucas? Yeah. I'm Peeps. Peeps? Peeps. Peeps. Like the beacon. Cool. How'd you guys see me? 
Uh, and like one other patroller, they were coming out below you. Okay. And saw you and uh, saw that your ski was above you. Yeah. Uh, and so called in over the radio. Cool. Well, thank you. Yeah. I'm going to go down and get readjusted, but appreciate it so much. I must say, guys, that has probably been one of the scariest things that's happened to me in a long time skiing. Um, not the, Everything ultimately is okay. People ask me why I don't hit cliffs or hit more cliffs and all this stuff. I mean, this is a prime example of where it's not always the smartest thing. I ski by myself basically all the time and without someone else like with me this is the stuff that I can get myself into. Just luckily I was able to kind of get my grounds and my whereabouts when I knew I was going down. I stepped, I came out of my toe piece, um, kind of got caught up on that first turn and it came out and I went down right away and I, I just knew I was over um, a very very rocky area so I just tried to do my best to get my feet in front of me but man I came right my hip right into that bottom rock um, direct impact it's all black and blue and it's cut um, definitely pretty sore but I think I'll be okay it's kind of a sombering wake-up call that is basically where I was at and I fell off that just shows how low visibility it is right now mountains are real man they they got me this time for sure oh. It always takes stuff like this to appreciate how amazing it is to even just move, you know what I mean? Let me be able to move freely and all this stuff because everything is taking like three times the effort. It's a good thing I threw a couple books in here because there's no service or reception and I like don't have anything I could watch or anything like that. One of the books I have that has been my favorite book, Roaming America. It's just like basically this couple visited every single national park in the country and it's just kind of a cool like picture book but also like yeah just it's very inspiring every time i look at this i just like want to quit everything and just live in the van um that's at utah look how beautiful that shot is i'm still in a good amount of pain guys but icing has definitely helped whatever is going on down here i just kind of want to show you guys the camping situation you can see luna behind me there um, and there's just basically a few other rigs scattered about in the slot. They basically allow you to park um, in the back of the lot all the way at the end. So I think I might be the only, the only sprinter. And then we got a few truck campers. So a truck camper there, this little van right there. And then just a few other truck campers. It's actually my first time staying like right at a ski resort. So see how this goes. I'm sure it's going to get really cold it's probably already about like 15 degrees you can see i'm shaking yeah it should be a nice quiet really peaceful night of sleep i think what's always attracted me to the mountains has been this juxtaposition between the beauty and serenity the mountains hold while also realizing the danger and strength harnessed within today's event was a blunt reminder of the power that the mountains truly hold i'm grateful for all the experience i've had leading up to this point that have prepared me for situations like what happened today Tonight looks like it's just gonna be some good old Campbell's soup, eating it right out of the pot. Man, I am just like, I just feel frozen, like I just can't move. I'm gonna try and hunker down for the night here soon. I just wanna do some of these dishes because I just haven't done them all day. And then I'm probably gonna hit the hay, try to, try to rest up, see if I can um, recover this Whatever this is, I don't even know what exactly I hurt, but just these muscles down here. So hopefully I can ride a little bit tomorrow. Thank you, I'll see all of you guys in the next episode. Um, take it easy, fam. Peace out.